Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are dealing with the topic rational numbers. Let us do answer discussion for concept is 10. Additive identity is 0. You add 0 to any of the number, your answer will be the same. Multiplicative identity is 1. You multiply by 1 to any number, your answer will be the same. Fill up the blanks and fill up the blanks. Hold all the four properties of rational numbers which addition and multiplication. Addition and uh, multiplication of whole numbers. Just please add of whole uh, of rational numbers. Addition and multiplication of rational numbers hold all the four properties. Subtraction of rational number holds only for closure property. Division of a rational number holds closure property for the condition B should not be 0 or we can say that denominator. What is B? We don't know. So write down here denominator is not equal to 0. If you are writing B, other person doesn't know what is B. So best way write down denominator should not be 0. Now true and false. Additive addition distributes over multiplication in rational number. So this is false. Always multiplication over addition, multiplication over subtraction is correct. Otherwise the statement will be false. The reciprocal of the reciprocal is the number itself. This is true. Okay, take example, suppose 2 by 3. What is the reciprocal of this number? 3 by 2. Again, what is the reciprocal of this number? 2 by 3. So, we can say that the reciprocal of the reciprocal is the number itself. It means the statement is true. Very, very important concept. Once again, I am going to just remind you. Take LCM only for addition and subtraction of rational numbers. For multiplication of rational numbers, we convert into simplest form. What does it mean? We cut one number from numerator and one number from denominator. For division of rational number, we take the reciprocal of the number which is just after division sign and we convert division sign into multiplication. Most of the time students do this mistake for multiplication of rational number or division of rational number also they take LCM that method is wrong because unnecessary we are increasing our work. So do not find LCM for multiplication and division of rational numbers before taking LCM just look at the question is it addition of rational number is it subtraction of rational number yes then only take LCM. If your answer is no, don't take LCM. For multiplication, simplest form, division, reciprocal. So this slide, this colorful font is very important. Addition, subtraction, take LCM. For multiplication, convert into simplest form. For division, take the reciprocal. Use the reciprocal concept. Now I am going to Solve your few word problems. Okay. So read the first one. The sum of two rational number is 1 by 3. Sorry, is minus 3. If one of the number is minus 11 upon 5, find the others. So here we are going to use equation concept that number we don't know. So we will take let the number be A. You can take any small letter from A to Z. I have taken A. So A. Now I have color this with the red font but you are supposed to underline this sum means which sign will come plus is is means equal to minus 3 one of the number is minus 11 upon 15 so we got the equation now we need to solve so here you need to find the value of a so 11 upon 15 we will shift this to the right hand side so right hand side this will become plus 11 upon 5. 
Now here no number is there in denominator it means 1. We need to take the LCM. LCM will be 5. Now recite the table of 1. You can see my cursor here. So 1, 5 is a 5. Multiply by the same numerator that is minus 3. So 5, 3 is a 15 with minus sign. Now which sign is there? Plus 5, 1 is a 5. So 1 with the same numerator 11. So 11 by 5. Now use your integer concept. Signs are different. Subtract the number. Greater number sign will come in the answer. So minus 5. And whenever word problems are there, don't forget to write the answer. Hence the other number. is minus 4 upon 5. If you are not writing the last statement, your marks will be deducted. If you are not writing, let the number be. Again, your marks will be deducted. Now, come to the second word problem. Again, what number should be added? So, let the number be B. So, B added means which sign will come? This 2. So, minus 4 by 7 here to get means equal to sign so equal to 5 upon 9. Again we need to shift this constant to the right hand side so this minus 4 by 7 will become plus 4 by 7. Denominators are different take LCM LCM will be 9 7 the 63 recite table of 9 so 9 how many times 73? 9, 7 the 6, 9, 7 the 63. So, 9 multiplied by 5 will give you 45. Okay. 63 I said divide by 9. So, 9 7 the 63. So, 7 multiply by the same numerator that is 5 will give you 45. 7, 5 the 35 sorry. Just a minute. Okay. Now again your LCM is 63. Now divide by the another denominator that is 7. 7, 9 is 63. And with the same numerator, we will multiply so that this will become 36. Okay. Now add this to number 35 to the 70 plus 1, 71 upon 36. So this is your answer. If the number is given in mixed fraction, then it is compulsory to convert this into mixed fraction. Otherwise, you can write down with 71 upon 36 and again final answer don't forget to write so the hence the other number is 71 upon 36. Now let us go for the third word problem what number should be subtracted from so let the number be y I told you whenever from is there underline this from and whatever is after there after the form we write down that number so which number we will write down first minus 7 upon 11 for subtraction we will put minus sign which number you are going to subtract y to get to get means equal to so equal to minus 2 okay this question can be solved in many ways so this the uh, minus y i need to make it positive so i will shift this to the right hand side and minus 2 will be on left hand side. So this will become minus 7 upon 11 plus 2 is equal to y. No number is there in the denominator. It means the denominator is 1. And now take the LCM. LCM will be 11. So recite table of 11. 11 was the 11. So 1 into minus 7 will give you minus 7. 1. 11 is 11, so 11 into 2 will give you 22. So just subtract this 
15 minus 22 minus 7 will give you 15 upon 11 is equal to y or you can write down in mixed fraction since here it is given in proper fraction or improper fraction so you can write down answer like this or if you want to convert into mixed fraction so your answer will be 1 4 upon 11 again don't forget to write down the answer hence the other number is 1 is to 4 by 11 now come for the fourth sum the product of two number is 5 upon 9 so if one of the number is this find the other so let the other number be a so a product it means we will multiply is is means is equal to so is equal to 5 upon 9 if one number is minus 35 upon 24 so write down minus 35 upon 24 now we need to find out a this number is in multiplication so right hand side the number will come in division so this will become 24 up sorry i am taking direct reciprocal but uh, you can take direct reciprocal also and first you can write down in the division form and take reciprocal it is up to you both the ways are correct so division with minus 35 upon 24 okay so now we are 5 upon 9 we will convert this into multiplication and take reciprocal of that number this will become 24 upon minus 35 now we need to cut the number 5 1 the 5 5 7 the 35 now the number is divisible by 3 3 3 is a 9 3 8 is a 24 so now multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator and while writing answer always we write minus sign with numerator so minus 8 upon 21 so this is the answer and again don't forget to write answer in full sentence the other number is minus 8 upon 21 now come for the last sum area of a rectangular top is area of a rectangle so what is the formula for area of a rectangle area of a rectangle we are going to use this formula here that is length into breadth okay is 3 5 is to 3 upon 4 what does it mean area is 5 is to 3 upon 4 so below the area we will write down 5 is to 3 upon 8 so if one of the side measures 2 into 1 by 4, any one, it may be length, it may be breadth, so 2 is to 1 by 4, find the other side, other side I have taken B, so write down B. Whenever improper fraction is there, always convert into, whenever mixed fraction is there, always convert into improper fraction, so 8 fives are 40 plus 3, 43 upon 8 is equal to 4 twos are 8 plus 1, 9 upon 4 multiplied by b now this number is in multiplication so left hand side this will come in division so instead of taking division sign also directly we can write down with the reciprocal but whenever you are writing with the reciprocal put here minus sign how to write with the division side that i have explained you in my earlier question now the numbers we can convert 4 1s are 4 4 2 is 8. Now we cannot cut any number. So multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Now here since the numbers are given in mixed fraction. So this is compulsory to convert into mixed fraction. So convert it into mixed fraction. You will get 2 is to 7 upon 18. And one more thing whenever... Uh, units are given writing unit is compulsory at least with the final answer so write down final answer the length of other side is 2 is to 7 upon 18 meters so thank you friends for watching my today's video my rational number topic all the concepts are over if you have any doubts you can write down in comment box so that I can solve your difficulties. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my video and also to watch my next video. For next video, uh, we are, I am going to do some activities. 
so keep few matchsticks with you so that you can do activity at the same time